It's like play school, but terrible. I'm back. Ooh, I'm back with more itchier nipples than a person should have. I've had a boob job. They've not gotten bigger, they've gotten smaller. Cheeky reduction. Not that you can see, but oh, I'll tell you, they cut your nipples off and that's a whole other story for a whole other day. I thought, right, I would do a story time and read some of the content from my book. Okay, so if you're thinking, what is in this book? Almost everything. Fashion, beauty, recipes. There's three Rocky Road of recipes in here. Three. <laughs> okay. Okay, here we go. Uh, this is page 108 from Help Self, written by Tanya Hennessy, spoken by Tanya Hennessy with smaller boobs. Okay, here we go. A cautionary tale regarding massages. I had a massage the other day, not a remedial one that makes you feel like you've paid for torture. Those remedial physio sports massages literally are the most painful things you'll ever experience. How do they find spots on your body that elicit so much pain? Anyway, I normally get those, but I was in the mood to be lightly touched with too much aromatherapy, oil by a blonde woman in her 20s in a beige linen onesie in a pretentious day spa that I certainly didn't belong in. She said, put this disposable G-string on. Normally I would have been like, no thanks, I'll wear my undies, Jasmine or Giselle or Taylor, but I was using the pool and I only had a one piece on, so I had no option. I had to wear the disposable G-string. It says one size fits all, should say one size fits many or one size fits some. I hadn't had a whack, so there was a lot going on. This is after I came out of the jungle, by the way. I thought, meh, it won't matter. She'll just do a soft touch massage. I'll overthink the massage, not relax at all, and we'll both move on with our lives. But this bitch was in, and she was on for a very serious massage. She was doing some major calf work, really getting that elbow into my back and lower bum. It was torture slash sports massage therapy uh, area. Then the inevitable turn from lying on your stomach to lying on your back. You know where you have to turn, they hold the sheet up and you turn and in that process, you feel like a drunk and confused seal. You will never feel less attractive than in that moment. You will never feel more like a seal than in that moment. <laughs> oh, and then they put the sheet back over you and your boobs roll into your armpits. And you know, the therapist can clearly see your whole boob outline and it's just very intense. Anyway, she starts on the leg, this time from the front, and she's going in at it like an NRL team therapist. She's really getting in there. She's abusing my shins. It feels like this woman is taking out her anger about her recent failure of her Etsy bath bomb business on my body. She works her way up to my thigh and pulls the towel over so she can get in to my thighs with her devil elbows. Then out of nowhere, she screams, just one shriek. Ah! Then nothing. It freaks me out because I have lavender rice bag. I have a lavender rice bag thing on my eyes and the music is really tranquil. I sit upright, clutching the towel to my chest. She apologizes. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. She says, just lie back down and relax. It's my fault. My bad. I thought I saw a spider. Ah. In that moment, I realized that she has seen my rogue, unwaxed, paper G-string, not quite fitting situation and realized that the spider was my rogue, unwaxed, paper G-string, not quite fitting situation. Got that visual in your head? Mm-hmm. I laughed, she laughed, we moved on. The rest of the massage, I was thinking two things. One, chill on the pressure, bitch. And two, that must have looked like at least 50 to 100 spiders. So for her to have let out one small scream was quite the feat. And then it moves on to what's in my real, what's in my handbag for real? And it's just a dog toy, uh, underwear and sweet and sour sauces from McDonald's. <laughs> anyway, um, I hope you guys have a very Merry Christmas and a really sensational New Year. Obviously, 2020 has been a fucking shit show. What a shit show it has been. Um, so fingers crossed 2021 is a better year for us all thank you for all your support throughout the year i really appreciate it i really really am so thankful to you for watching my content being engaged in what i do and um if you've ever wanted to help me out one way you could do that was would be to purchase my book it's called help self it's available on the book depository if you are international and it's available at all book, good bookstores in australia great christmas present for somebody, especially somebody who's entering um, a new phase of their career or somebody who's feeling really unmotivated and just feels like shit because this year has been a fucking hard year and I feel like this will reinvigorate you or reinvigorate them and motivate them, hopefully. Okay, love you. Merry Christmas, happy new year. Happy holidays, bye.